Hey guys. So, your semester got canceled. Ugh. Okay. Hey guys, my name's Marnie. I just graduated from Chico State in May, in the middle of the pandemic, and I feel so bad for you guys. Like, I don't really have any other way to say it or put it other than that sucks, and I'm really sorry. Did most people see this coming? Yes. I mean, I kind of thought it might happen later on. I didn't know so many people would show up to Chico with COVID already and then spread it around so fast because it is like confusing being a person in the world because obviously I go to work five days a week, eight hours a day, and I'm wearing a mask obviously, but I'm still exposed to so many people that like the fact that I don't have COVID, like what are you guys doing that you have COVID? I don't know. I guess it's just being a person in the world. You can get it, but I don't know. I think it's difficult because my freshman year, I mean, my whole college experience up until the last two months was so different from what you guys are experiencing right now, and I don't think that's fair. Not that life is fair, but it sucks, and I want you to know that like I think a lot of people maybe like your parents or your teachers or whoever are maybe not making it feel like a big deal that is validated to you because I do think you should know hey there are people in the world like me who really feel for you guys because I have made so much content and made such a big point to say hey Chico's a great school it's a really good time <laughs> like it's a lot of fun and now you don't really get to do any of it and even if you were there for the last week it's not like it was anything like what years past have been and that sucks you know i feel bad for you guys yes eventually post corona things should go back to normal everyone will get vaccinated and hopefully we will live in a world without masks and without guidelines and people can be in each other's spaces without feeling weird like just feeling normal again and i really want that for you guys and it seems like the school is really heavily considering making spring of 2021 online as well which i do think is probably the smart Artist decision as far as like you can't bring a bunch of people back in in January if there's no vaccine that's widely available and not expect this exact same thing to happen. Obviously I do think that most people expected what's happening now to happen which is that all of the freshmen slash people living in the dorms have to move out of the dorms. Classes that were previously hybrid will now be 100% online. It's displacing tons of people. I think it's 500 students in the residence residence halls need to find somewhere to live. Uh, that's a lot of people, you know? A lot of people, like if they do go home or some of the friends that I made in college that I still talk to now uh, who were commuter students have to now do homework from home. But like, what if they share a bedroom or their house is pretty small and you can hear everything or, you know, their families don't really respect or understand that, hey, it's school time. And even if it looks like I'm not doing school, like I have homework to do. I have to read all of these papers and try to learn this material on my own, at least my my experience, limited experience of online school was, yes, it's easy to go and take all your tests whenever you want, but learning and absorbing knowledge, like you have to do in a lot of your, kind of like the middle classes where it's the first time you've been introduced to these specific topics and you're supposed to be learning really in depth, complicated stuff, especially if you're in like a science or a math and you're at home and maybe you don't have a desk. Like if, if you're sitting in bed trying to learn, it's, doesn't work and not everybody has space for a desk has money for a desk like desks are expensive you can't all sit at your kitchen table where your parents are probably also working from home you can't all fund not being in chico like living in the dorms so i really feel for you guys i think that <laughs> the second week of school is already where things start to get kind of real like so the second and third week of school you're like oh my god i have so much work to do like how is it already midterm season and now now you guys have to do that and also find somewhere to live, which you just did two weeks ago. And that fucking sucks. And I really hope that the teachers are going 
light on you guys because trying to find somewhere to live is arguably one of the most stressful things in college. I moved a couple of times during school or like during Christmas break and it takes so long to get settled in somewhere to get your Wi-Fi set up. I can't. I think Chico's done a pretty terrible job of handling things. Like I don't know if it's as bad as NYU. I don't know if you guys are on TikTok but New York State has an entire like a, a quarantine rule. So if you're coming to the school from anywhere, you need to quarantine for two weeks alone in a dorm room. And they said, oh, we'll feed you guys. Like we'll get you food three times a day, three square meals. And then regularly did not bring people food, brought food that wouldn't work with dietary restrictions that the students had. Some people would go, you know, a whole day, two days without any food. And that's ridiculous. And Chico, instead of that, just didn't quarantine anybody. And I don't believe that they had quarantine housing, which is what a lot of schools are doing. If you have any symptoms or if you test positive, you get sent off either to like an Airbnb, a hotel room, or like a separate dorm that's been set aside for corona patients, basically. A lot of me, and I saw a post that was like, it was about Mizu. It was like, are you waiting for a student to die before you start to take this seriously? And I'm glad Chico didn't get to that point, but I don't know what they were expecting. I don't know how they didn't see this coming. They probably did. And I do honestly believe that school only said that they would continue in person be so they could get your money because schools pretty clearly know that they cannot charge full tuition for online school. They're gonna do it anyway, but they should. I mean, tuition pays for like the electricity bill at the buildings, which are all turned off. So it, tuition includes your rec membership, which is closed and a bunch of other things that the school funds like events that you can't go to. Realistically, the tuition should only go to the teachers making everyone's books free and the counseling center and like the accessibility resource center and tutoring. Yeah. <sighs> There's no sports. There's no on-campus activity. I'm like getting mad. <laughs> it makes me so mad that they would be charging full tuition for not full tuition caliber college. I have a feeling, like, I don't know, but I think someone's rich parent one day will start some sort of lawsuit against the colleges for not providing what they're supposed to, which is your education. I don't think that they're doing that. I work with a couple of college students and they're in their second week of school now and it seems more stressful than ever. Uh, far more reading and the communication is abysmal and I like can't imagine trying to be in school right now with everything else that's going on in the world. I mean half of California is still on fire and that will continue for the rest of the year. Jesus. Mm, I hate it for you guys. Like I really do and I know I so strongly encourage like going to college, going to Chico State. If nothing else, take all of your like lower level GEs because I left a couple till my senior year, which was nice for my senior year because I could just, um, I'm taking philosophy 102. Like it was really easy and a fun class for me as a senior. But for online school, I can't imagine trying to learn organic chemistry. Okay, that class was hard in person and I went to every single class and sat in the front row and paid really good attention and asked the teacher questions. You don't get that in online school. There's just no way that that they can provide that exact same situation. <sighs> I hate this for you guys. Okay. Limited number of in-person classes will be virtual only beginning Monday, August 31st, and most on-campus housing will be vacated by Sunday, September 6th, which is this coming Sunday, which is a really quick time frame to get flights or a card or like let your parents know, hey, I need to come home or somewhere else to live. Okay, so the application process for apartments usually takes like at least a week or two, if not longer, and finding cosigners and filling out paperwork. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Campus COVID positive cases were up to 30 from probably just one person having it. I think that's as simple as it is. It's like one person goes to one class and then all of a sudden <laughs> the whole class has it. Oh my God. I don't know how they even opened the dorms, I guess to get money. But when I lived in the dorms, like all the air is recycled. Like my AC is your AC and we all got 
flus and the cold and just had it all winter long. <laughs> we can go out partying, like not being able to talk like raspy ass voices because no one takes care of themselves their freshman year because you're fucking 18, which I will talk about in a second. Like, I don't know. I think people have really high standards for 18 year olds and they don't ever think back to themselves as at 18 and how stupid you were at 18, me included. Chica State is preparing for the possibility of a virtual only spring 2021 semester. If I was a student, I would also be batting on a, you know, virtual only semester. Enrollment has declined, but they don't think it has anything to do with Corona. Yeah, right, you guys. <laughs> I would not be going to college right now. <laughs> You're taking a fucking year off. Okay, let's talk about partying for a second. I don't even know if there's enough people in Chico right now to even consider anything a party f for what a welcome week party usually looks like. Obviously, I'm pretty sure it's a gathering of like 10 or more is technically considered not state mandated, which some people in their own houses have 10 people or more. And the dorms, fuck, so stupid. Anyway, partying. I see a lot of people really attacking college freshmen for partying. And I don't think enough people are taking into account some context. First of all, they just graduated high school in the middle of a pandemic. So a lot of that like partying energy that you get out at that point, which was some of the like the first time I ever drank or hung out with like boys on my own because I finally had my driver's license was right after graduation from high school. Like I drank most of that summer away and all of these kids have just spent all summer quarantined or like only with a couple of their hometown friends and they're really excited to go to college because college is supposed to be exciting. And yes, the coronavirus, I get it, it's bad. But I do think as a 18 year old, 17 year old, some of them, uh, you don't really understand worldly consequences to your actions. It's part of being in that developmental stage. Okay, you're still pretty stupid. You just don't understand things yet. I know a lot of adults forget that, but like when I was 18, <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. I just don't know what you expect of them. Yes, sure, they should hold themselves to a higher standard because they're adults now and you're in college and now that means you're a big girl and you're a big boy and you're gonna all of a sudden become a responsible adult. Like a lot of these people haven't even made all the mistakes in life yet that usually make you end up growing up, okay? I didn't, like I was pretty sheltered as a high schooler. I didn't really let loose till after high school and most of my bad decision making came in right when freshman year started. Like that's when I got up to my dumbest activities, like climbing fences onto property you're not supposed to be on and that sort of thing. Like, you know, freshman year is supposed to be like really fun. So I'm not mad at 18 year olds who came to Chico, a party school and expected to be able to party. Like that doesn't surprise me at all. Like, I do think that they should stop going to parties if they don't want to get corona. That's kind of a given. You know, you can't go out to, to big gatherings and going, oh my god, I got sick? Like, this is ridiculous. I didn't expect that to happen. In that case, you're just like really dumb. But I just, I don't know. I'm not saying like, don't expect anything. I think you should be respectful to an extent, but I don't know. I just think that's kind of what that phase of life is, or at least it was for me. And to attack <laughs> these like kids, because to me, they're kids, you know? Like I'm 23. Sure, I'm five years older than all of them, but I remember being 18 and I remember basically doing anything to get anyone to like me, giving into peer pressure really easily because it's fucking your freshman year of college and you like really want some friends. And if your friends are going out to parties, you don't want to be the one who says no. Like I understand that exact put two and two together. Like that's what that is. Like that's what your freshman year of college is. I, I think that far more responsibility should be put on Chico State for holding in person classes, filling up the dorms with dumb 18 year olds and expecting anything other than drinking out of them. Because I said it in my video when school got canceled, if the dorms are open, people are partying 24 seven. Like people will, I mean, they got online school. Yeah, right. A lot of online school is done asynchronously. So I don't, what did y'all expect? Do y'all not watch my videos? You know, like, <laughs> Come on, Chico. I know my shit. <laughs> I don't know if I have advice for the rest of the year because I think right now it's all kind of up in the air, kind of confusing, kind of scary. Um, I don't know, scary. It's stressful because for a lot of these kids, it's their first time away from their parents. And if you have a toxic family,
family like mine is, that is like, I'm never going home. Like that's how I felt when I got to college. So I was like, are you sure we have to go home for Thanksgiving break? Because I don't want to. I don't want to go home. <laughs> to think that some of these kids, especially if they can't afford it or if their parents won't spend the money on it on off-campus housing, they have to go back into these toxic homes where they don't have a workspace and it just fucking sucks. Because I think a lot of these kids were stuck at home for the last six months, like everybody else, but sure. And I don't think anyone's giving them enough credit for handling this in the best way possible, okay? Because when you make decisions, you do the best you can with what you know. And you don't know much at that age. You don't, you just don't, you don't. So yeah, if you're a freshman and you went to a party, I get it, I understand. I've, I would have too. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I really would have. I don't know. It's a bit of like when in Rome do as the Romans do. Like when in Chico, what are you gonna do? When in Chico with no actual school to go to in person, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Maybe I have like poor expectations or I'm a bad influencer. I don't know. I think I think pretty realistically about people and the way that they act and especially the way they, they act at 18 because you're just so young and like everything's so cool and fun and you just want to go have fun and I get that. So, I don't know, use some context when you're judging these 18 year old dummies, okay? This is probably the first time they've gotten this drunk ever in their whole life. I don't know. Yeah, I think it might be too late to drop out and get your money back. Oh my god, the school is scamming you. If you can afford it, I would honestly stay in Chico in an apartment somewhere. Obviously, you're not going to get the same dorm experience. It's not going to be exactly the same. But I think it's really important, especially for me when I was at that age, to have independence, to fend for myself in some way, shape, or form. If I had stayed home with my mom for another year, like God knows what would have happened to me. <laughs> wouldn't move home if your parents don't have a place for you somewhere to work, if you don't have a desk in your bedroom or can afford to get one or are interested in working from home on school, that's what I would do. You know, get some roommates, try and make some friends, try and be nice to people. I don't think anyone knows how to be a good roommate yet. I think that's a lot of what the dorms is because you don't even have dishes that can pile up. It's like we're in the dorms, you know, we just got to figure out like our one little trash bin and that's it and like keeping your side of the room clean. So I would try to get an apartment. I would try to, if you've made any friends, if you even could do that during all of this, because I know a lot of people have said like, you can't just go out and meet people because Corona, like you're not supposed to, oh my God, I just feel so bad for you guys. I really do. Like when I saw that, I was like, yeah, not surprising, but like, so, oh my God, could you fucking imagine your second week of school trying to figure out where to live and like make a decision for the next six months to a year of your life. So I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of 19 year old freshmen next year living in the dorms. I don't know. Take your easiest classes that you can, if you can, yikes. Try to have separation from, you know, sleep and work time. If that's at a countertop, if that's a, a desk, if that's a, I don't know, some makeshift kitchen table that you found on Craigslist, something. Uh, it is really good, even in regular times, to do work at your desk and not in your bed. I think that's probably extra hard as an online student to have that separation, but I think it'll help you. It, it's just a different mindset of like, oh, I'm in school now. Here's, I'm going to school, here I am, versus laying in bed all day. And try to have some sense of normalcy in your life if you can. A lot of the way I've been finding that in this weird time is just exercising and my hobby of YouTube because it's not like, you know, I moved home. I don't have any friends here. I just have my boyfriend and my coworkers and it's not like we're hanging out and I do sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't have any friends, <laughs> but okay. Which I think is an issue in post-college life anyway. That's a different video though. I don't know. They have like a discord for the Chico freshmen, I'm pretty sure. And they have all these pages that you can go follow that do have events on them that maybe they're Zoom, maybe they're in real life. And just, I, you know, try to make of it what you can. Cause I've said this in every video, Corona related, cause you can't do anything about, <laughs> sorry, that was a hiccup. You can't do anything about it. And that sucks. <laughs> and I, it's so frustrating cause you're given this school a couple thousand dollars and they're like, <laughs> thanks for coming uh, and moving in. So you gotta move out. Yeah, tackle all your shit. Bye. Yeah, by, by this weekend, yeah. By this weekend, yeah, move out. <laughs> no, we're not gonna help you find somewhere to live. <laughs> no, I am so sorry.
Fuck. Yeah, if nothing else, here's some validation for your feelings because I think a lot of adults, like real adults, the ones that are like, <laughs> have actual like bills and important shit and maybe don't remember what it's like to be a teenager in college. I understand. <laughs> I understand probably everything that's going through your mind with everything that's going on in 2020. Try to take care of yourselves. You know, they always go like, self care is so like important in these trying times, but it actually is. They are still doing online counseling appointments I don't know how easy they are to get or anything like that, but I do know that they are available and I think they're a great resource, especially because your tuition does include that. It includes your therapy at the Counseling and Wellness Center, is that what it's called? So I would go to that if you're having some problems. At the end of the day, just know that if no one else cares or is listening to you, I am here, I care, and I I'm willing to listen, you know, <laughs> tell me in the comments down below how this is going for you. If you decided to stay home, if you decided to move in, where are you gonna move? Are you gonna move back home? Are you gonna find an apartment? I like really like you guys and I really want you to have a good time in college and I hate that that isn't a reality for you. I'm sorry if you came to Chico watching my videos thinking like, it's gonna be the time of my life and now it's this instead. It usually isn't like this, obviously. <laughs> but this is what 2020 is. <sighs> I mean, I work at a retail store with a college degree, so. With a fellow Chico State student, actually, which is kind of funny. He also just graduated and I'm like, what's up, brother? So, how's that degree going? Fucking useless? Right. One day, <laughs> things will all go back to normal. Don't know when. Hope it's sooner rather than later. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're safe. I hope you can figure this out. Unbelievably stressful. And um, I'll see you in my next video.